Welcome back to another episode of Geordie Motorsports. I finally have myself some new microphones now, so hopefully I've got it sorted, it's going to be alright. <laughs> um, but anyways, today we're going to be doing a video on my Toodle, on the CH, the big CH. Um, going to be doing an update on it and uh, working out how I'm going to approach all of the repairs that it has because there is lots of repairs because it's a full restoration. Um, so we'll be doing that. I will be doing some small repairs on the floor, getting it ready for the new floor eventually, which I have got now, as you've seen in the previous video. <laughs> Um, so I'm pretty happy about that and excited about that. But yeah, let's um, lower the car down off the hoist and I will do a quick walk around of it, show you what I've done. And um, <clears throat> I suppose we'll, we'll get into doing some small repairs on the floor and then we will, yeah, go from there. So let's um, get right into it. <laughs> So as you can obviously see, the car is, well, has all of its uh, panels removed off. I didn't film any of it when I was pulling it apart, because uh, it was late and I was trying not to talk too much because I've got some old neighbours and that sort of gear. Um, so I try to keep noises down as much as I can for them. <clears throat> um, so yes, I've got all the doors off, well, the two doors. <laughs> Doors, bonnet, fender, nose cone, boot, tail lights, all of that sort of gear. Um, so, the uh, first major repair I will be doing to it is going to be the floor. I've spoken to my mate that has restored many cars and he's got some really cool cars. Um, he come around and had a look at it, give me some pointers on what I should do, and I asked him what, what would be the first thing you would do first. He says, first thing I'd do first is I'd do the floor, because that's obviously a major component of the car, which holds, I don't know, I'd probably say 70% of the strength in the car, as well as the roof. So I'll do a quick walk around of it, and then I will show you guys what I'm going to be doing to the floor today and see what happens I might even pull the engine out as well so um, I'll show you what's going on <laughs> alrighty so <clears throat> obviously the major things rusty bits on the cars obviously sewer panels lower cord panels both the A pillars are a bit rusty, this one's a bit worse for wear. Bit of rust up here in the nose cone pinch weld. I reckon I'm going to be replacing the uh, radiator support panel as well. Probably the whole thing from top to bottom. We'll also be repairing and re uh, replacing driver side A pillar. Uh, I've had a couple of people ask me uh, when I will be doing the repairs on the A-pillars. Um, I'm not too sure when I'll be doing them, but I'll probably be doing them either after the floor, or I might even do them before the floor, but most likely be after the floor. Driver side lower quarter panel is atrocious. <laughs> but she will be all right. A little bit rusty back here in the boot, up in the top corners, 
around the wind is it's a bit rusty as well absolutely long shot but if you have managed to have a rear cut off of a ch or something like that would be appreciated because i need a rear cut but i might end up using a vj one if i find one and i'll probably have to i think these are pinch welded in so i might have to unpick that off and put it onto a new one because it's rusty um another thing is there is a 99 percent chance i'm gonna have to unpick this quarter panel as well because there is a quite a hefty repair uh, up the top leading to the roof and down lower into the style line there is an absolutely massive repair there so that quarter panel will be coming off it'll probably be one of the last towards the last major jobs so the floor today let me come around this side let me hoist today i'm going to be doing nothing major but i'm going to be prepping it up for the new floor so if you have an old damaged floor like i have here that's rusty floor pans bashed up best thing to do is um bash it into where it is supposed to be sitting because from where that there is pulled up it is also pulled up the lower of the sill panel up from it being pushed up there so it's pulled the sill panel up on both sides because both sides have been pulled up so easiest way to do it is block of wood hammer and give it a couple of bashes so i'm going to bash this here area out and flat to where it should be also on that side on the driver side as well and then we'll get underneath and we'll check to see where else it'll need to be pulled and bashed and whatnot gosh i've got some work ahead of me eh? <laughs> um but yeah so i will lower this down a bit more sit this down somewhere and i'm going to Oh, I don't even know if I have a bit of wood here. Anyways, try to find a bit of wood, get a hammer and start knocking it down. Love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy Look in the mirror if he is no friend of me It's not working out, maybe it's the chemistry It's time to break up so I can make a better me Better believe in your mind cause it's everything You can mold, shape, find almost anything all it takes is some time and some clarity to find your identity It's mind over everything
Obviously, uh, this side doesn't need as much as what that side did. But give it a quick dust off. Just like a see where I'm working. Well, I can see, but mainly to see where all of the kicks and high spots are. And this side does need a little bit of work at the rear uh, passenger side, sorry, rear driver side footwell at the back of the driver side seat. So there is a bit of a high spot just here, a bit of a kink. Also right here, the floor has been lifted right up. So if I bash that down, it'll pull everything else down. So I'll just do a couple of hits with these bits of wood that aren't really doing all that much for me anymore. <laughs> Sit that there. It's hard to do this while there's a steering wheel. Oh, that's moving heaps good. Yeah, there's still a bit of a high spot at the back here. Now, all I'm trying to do is just get both sides close to where they were, not being perfect once again because it is all being uh, cut out, having new floor put in. Oh, that's coming down bloody fantastic. with this <laughs> it's just working out a lot better than what I thought it was going to be oh there's wire spake wire by the looks of it it's just everywhere I don't really I could probably just cut it out but I don't really want to do that I don't like cutting things out Wow, oh, battery's getting low. I'm gonna have to have a break, I reckon. Anyways, I'll show you what I've done. Let me just stop. So the passenger side is all bashed down into where it should be, as well as the driver side. A little higher there, but it does not matter. This is good, makes me happy. Well, I'm gonna have a short little break, have some lunch, and uh, then probably give it a vacuum and a clean, see what else we need to do, and uh, go from there. Nice. So it's another day, I've had a shave. Um, I'm pretty happy with the floor now that I've spent nearly an hour bashing it around. Um, today I'm going to be 
most likely pulling the 360 out. So I'm um, just gonna set the camera up, put it aside, and then I'll start ripping into it. <clears throat> start off with most likely tail shaft first, get everything loose, and then <clears throat> lower it down, <clears throat> hop up to the top, unhook what I need to unhook, and then lower her on down onto the ground and then I will be making where are they here we are I've got some caster wheels that I brought from Bunnings to make a little frame up to sit on the chassis rail so I can still move it around so we'll probably do that as well so I reckon we'll swing right into it let's do it
feel nauseous, believe me Never had a lot of sh** come easy Had to work hard, struggle just to be me Had to rise up just so they could see me Did what I had to do just to feed me And what was left over I put towards my dreaming But the only thing in life that has meaning Are the things you gotta work for, believe me Take into your hands a plan Your own hands can land your own brand And damn, I feel like no one takes accountability They want the credibility Convincingly unwilling to put in the f hours It takes to get some power Don't be f***ing sour Take a cold shower Scream until you're louder Work until you're prouder And f*** all the doubters They're just your downers I swear to God they all let me down I always fought just to wear the crown I'm off at these f***ing clowns Who were all taught they deserve an ounce It's only worth it if you work for it It's only worth it if you work for it I won't stop till they hear me now I won't stop till I wear the crown Cadillac, high heel boots and a sexy body full of tats Baby's bad, oh baby's hella bad After her there ain't no coming back Wanna take a run at that I think she's feeling me, turn it up a few degrees My imagination of her body gets the best of me Oh gosh, she's such a tease, bitten lips, bruised knees I'm addicted to her, need her touching me Cause she got a bad little waist And we tearing down this place Off the liquor that we chase Got some needles to the face, baby I don't need no space Coming closer for a taste And I'll show you how I make every Everything just fade away cause she's like Sex, drugs, cocaine, rice, so insane Jealous of the clothing that she wears up on the tight frame All game, no shame, baby came here to play I feel like an addict cause she's sex, drugs, cocaine Yeah. 
this place Start to look at that we chase Got some egos to the face Baby, I don't need no space Come in closer for a taste And I'll show you how I make Everything just fade away Cause she's like sex, drugs, cocaine Body so insane Jealous of the clothing that she wears up on her tight frame All game, no shame Baby, came here to play I feel like an addict Cause she's sex, drugs, cocaine Losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose, what do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack And sometimes you just gotta believe There's something that'll give you relief There's something that'll have what you need what you need We're broken, it's tragic We're not all elastic But maybe there's magic Believe you could have it And I know of sadness The anxious and panic The infinite vastness Of all that is blackness So the engine is finally out of the two door. After a lot of mucking around, <laughs> got it out. Broke the exhaust manifold because it was fouling on the steering box, but got it out. How good is that? A lot of work, but the engine is out. And gearbox and cross member. <laughs> wow. So, a lot of work. Took me about six hours to do it. Get it out like that. Damn. Oh, so what an absolute day I've had. I've spent just about seven hours today, so pretty much a full day on the two door. I've got the. <laughs> engine and gearbox out and all that sort of stuff now. 
Sorry, that was, oh. I don't even know how many rusted bolts, but this here was my best friend today. <laughs> and also lots of this. But yeah, I got it out. Broke a exhaust manifold. I didn't see. I didn't see, or I did see it actually fouling on the uh, steering box. But I was controlling the hoist, lifting it up, checking it up. By the time I seen it, it was already snapped, but I reckon it's been cracked previously. And then I just finished it off, but oh well, I'm definitely not going to be putting a pair of stock extractors back onto it. <laughs> um, but yeah, obviously it is almost a bare shell. The only thing that is still in it is the fuel tank, the diff, the dash and steering column. That's it really. So yeah, this episode I've obviously done the floor and engine, but I'm not too sure what I will be doing next. Oh, sorry, I do know what I'll be doing next. The thing I'll be doing next is where have I put them now? Can't see them. Oh, here's one. Is these caster wheels. I'm not gonna be doing it in this episode because there's like 40 minutes worth of footage here. Well, it's actually seven hours of footage, but jammed into about 40 minutes. So, Next episode, I'll be doing a quick short video on mounting these to the uh, chassis rail. I'll be mounting them here somewhere, so I'll be making something little that bolts into the original holes. And these here, so I can still roll, get off the hoist, roll it around. I won't be taking out the diff just yet, because I'm just gonna use that, so I can still move it around. Whoa. Ah, that's my torch going flat. I need that good lighting in here because it's late at night now. And let me lower it down a little bit so it won't flash anymore. There we go. Anyways, apart from that quick disco I just had then. <laughs> um, yes, so that there will be next. I'll try and see if I can do that in the next week or so. I'm trying my best to do a video a week. Most of you probably won't even watch this part because it's obviously a really long video, but I really appreciate it if you are watching this part of the video because it helps me a lot. Um, but yeah, so that'll be next. And then I'm waiting an email from a company to get back to me if they have any rotisseries in stock because I'll be buying a rotisserie next putting it onto a, a rotisserie, and then I'll be getting it sandblasted, and then we can see really how much rust there is. But it's, yeah, almost a naked body. <laughs> but yeah, so I've only really spent, what is it now, 13 hours, 13, 14 hours total on the car since I've brought it. It's not really a whole lot, it's not even two days, but it does add up really quickly. I guarantee you there's gonna be a lot more hours in this. So yeah, on another note as well, um, if you have been watching my uh, 265 Hemi build. I haven't done anything else because I've had my hot, my hot tub, my head in the hot tub for oh, like four weeks now, a bit longer than that really. Four or five weeks now. There's a lot of gunk and whatnot in it that's still trying to come off. So I'll see if I can get a video on that later on. 
I haven't got it back yet, but I'll be getting that back next week to obviously do some porting on it. And I have gathered some more stuff for my barra build that I'm doing as well. Um, but that's it for this really long episode. I'm sorry how long it is, but I've had lots of people ask me to do a video on the floor and me pulling the engine out. Don't know why, but I thought, why not? I'll do it. So, yeah, that's it for this really long video. Um, but if you are watching this all the way to the end, please like and subscribe and let me know what you want to see and I will do my best to get the footage to you. So yeah, next video on this will be these getting mounted. But yeah, um, thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you in the next video. Right. Catch us later on, I'm out of here.